Hey, what's up, everyone? It is Mass Man Reviews back again with another video. Again, thank you for tuning in. And today I just have a simple video. Uh, before I get into the video, um, I had a pretty good time at Solomon's Vineyard Live yesterday. Him and um, Grown Man Styles, which is a, a new reviewer, go check them out. They had a, a cheapy battle. And um, that's a, a pretty good thing, just to see people comparing different fragrances um, and kind of putting them up against each other. So I, I encourage you to watch that video. But today I'm a little bit tired, but I'm going to get through the day. I'm going to power through. This is nothing I haven't been through. I got up really early today at uh, about 5.30 a.m. And uh, we're, we're getting into this video right now. We're, it's about, what, 7, 7.30? Uh, we'll get into it. So this video is about batch codes. And essentially, you know, when, when people hear batch codes, they think about like, they may be thinking about vintage fragrances and how to do this. But the batch codes are very simple. It's just a date or a code which indicates when the product was manufactured. So when you buy food or other products at a grocery store, there's a a number, which is kind of like a number where, where it says best used by, and it has an actual date. Now, some of the uh, fragrances do have actual um, a best used by date. Let me see if I can find one. Let's see, let's see. I think like for, for me, I, you know, I, I, I'm not saying that it's the best, but I, I, I think some of the Armoire fragrances, they do a, a good job at that. Let me see if I can find something. Should have been more prepared. Let's see this look. Top. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Top. Nope. So essentially, it's you're, you're going to see kind of like a best used by date. And I'll pull it up later, but um, it kind of gives you an indication of when that product uh, is going to be fresh until what, what day they kind of guarantee it to be fresh. Now, if, if the fragrance is stored in a good manner or um, and, and storing fragrances is another topic, basically what you don't want is a lot of light going into the fragrance. You want to keep them in, in a in a not super cold, but maybe like a cool area, someplace that doesn't get much heat, doesn't get direct sunlight or direct light. So as long as you do that, you should be okay with your fragrance. And what, what's pretty cool about some of the, the bottles that you see, like let's say for, for example, this Dolce & Gabbana bottle, um, it's a dark bottle. So basically the, the glass itself is acting as a barrier uh, to protect the, the actual fragrance. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, if I'm looking at the actual batch code of this, it's kind of hard to decipher. So if, if you're looking at this just from here, you might not get it. So typically you're gonna see a batch code written uh, on the bottom of the bottle, but sometimes there's an indicator on the sides, right? Or even on the cap sometimes. But this one, um, it, it doesn't have kind of like a clear indicator on this. Now, when you see fragrances that don't have like a clear indicator on them, that could also mean that the fragrance is a tester. So sometimes testers don't have uh, batch codes. I'm not telling you that that is the rule. Like um, testers don't always have a, a batch code, but some of them do. So kind of depends on the manufacturer of the the actual fragrance. So now, um, if I get into this one, this is like an old bottle of Da Vinci uh, pie that I have. Um, the, the actual batch code is um, on the bottom, but it's really not visible sometimes to the naked eye. So what I would recommend um, in those cases, if you're looking to verify if, if, if the product is, is fresh or not, you could use a, a little flashlight, right? So you use a flashlight, and as we can see, um, the, the batch code is a little bit more visible right now, right? Even though this is an old bottle, you, you could 
uh, see it, it kind of etched on the, the glass. So um, if you're trying to figure out if something is worthwhile to, to purchase and you want to verify the, the batch code, that is kind of like a trick with the flashlight. Um, another uh, one that, that I have is, is this one. This one also, if you look at it, uh, doesn't have uh, the batch code um, visibly written on it. But these uh, are sometimes like, th there's also like a creed that I have. Some of them are pre-batch code uh, fragrances. So I think like Creed has a couple of older batches, I think prior to 2015 that are uh, pre-batch code. So that is uh, another thing uh, to look out for. But basically, um, what this this is a really good batch code. It's it's quite visible. So if it's on the actual sticker, that makes things kind of easy to um, decipher. So if you have a, a fragrance that has the the actual sticker with the actual batch code written on it, it's kind of easy. Um, this one, it, the Dior's are kind of infamous for being difficult to um, to read. So let me see if I could actually do this. So, yep. So I need the flashlight. And when I flash the light on it, you can see that this um, has the, the batch code kind of etched on the side of the glass. You see that right there? So that is kind of etched in. You you could also, uh, another thing is if the, the fragrance has a box you could um, check the box to see if it has a, a, an, a, an actual batch code written on the box. So those are, are different things. So to, to actually find out what those numbers are, because this, this is not like one of those um, best used by dates on, on a package, like on, on something that is a perishable good. This is just a, a very coded, encoded number. So how do you figure this out? Um, well, there, there's no real foolproof way to do it. I would say that the, what, what you would have to do is do your research. There are different websites that you could use to um, to interpret batch codes. And those kind of, depending on the site, um, they have databases that only go back a certain amount of years. Some of them go back more. So you may want to um, use different websites and different tools to figure out if the, the batch code um, is actually matching. So that, that's another thing to do is, is verify. So if you have, if you, if you're only using one site, use a different one to see if the dates match up. So typically that is a verification step. So you're going to compare that batch code um, against multiple sites just to verify that your item is correct. Now, if you have a, a, a an item, right, like some of these fragrances that are kind of a little bit harder to find, um, you may want to sell them. And then at that point, uh, you could provide your uh, potential buyer with as much information on the product that you um, could provide. Now, again, the, the main purpose of, of having a batch code is the same thing as what you would see with um, a best used by date on a package of food. It's so that you kind of know um, when you could use that item. But again, like I said, I'm gonna reiterate it again. Uh, the, the batch code is just that. It's just a, a date when it was manufactured. If you store your fragrances properly, if you don't misuse them, if you don't put them in sunlight, they could last you a lifetime. So that is the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed my layman's explanation on batch codes. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions to me, like maybe there's some uh, tools that you use that uh, give you batch codes that you use uh, specifically to figure out batch codes, leave them in the comment section below. All right, people, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.